Lau is feeling a little uneasy about the future when it comes to UC Berkeley's budget. If budget cuts can happen at any time, then that means just like a lot of the things we want to learn, like we just, we won't even have time to learn it and we won't, it won't even be available. But she's not the only one who is feeling this way. Eyes all across the state are looking at the struggling economy and questioning how it affects California at the state level. Here in Berkeley, students are beginning to wonder if they're going to feel the pinch. Because as everyone knows, when the state gets short on cash, education is almost always the first to be cut. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger's budget for 2008 through 2009 is designed to reduce the $17.2 billion state deficit. In doing this, general funds are being cut by 10%, which includes the UC system. Recently, Berkeley has taken yet another blow by losing $5 million more million in state funding. Vice Chancellor Nathan Brostrom says that although Berkeley has been hit hard by the budget cuts, the university is doing all it can to maintain academic excellence. We tried to exempt um, uh, instruction and research as much as possible. So when we looked at the, the sources that could be cut, you know, we didn't touch the faculty lines and we didn't touch um, uh, library services and, and other things that are core to the academic mission. And in maintaining this academic mission, how does the university decide what departments receive the most funds? The professional schools, Haas and, um, and Berkeley School of Law, have professional degree fees, and so that gives them an extra source of revenue. There's also some, some uh, schools that are able to raise a lot more through either research grants or, um, or through fundraising. So where are the majority of cuts taking place? Vice Chancellor Brostrom says that GSIs and lecturers are usually the first to go. And this could be a problem. With the lack of teacher support, students like Odelia Lau are beginning to worry about the budget's impact on their education. When we pretty much entered class, uh, our professor, she had to actually let a lot of students go um, who weren't either within the major or seniors because of the budget cuts, because she couldn't afford to have uh, any uh, assistance, any GSIs to help her with the paper and grading. It does make me worry because, I mean, as a student, it's hard to pay for your tuition and to make ends meet. And with the future of Berkeley's budget looking cloudy, what can you do? If students and their parents uh, can write to Sacramento, uh, that would be really wonderful. I think just trying to like do your part and joining clubs, you know, to help petition people and make people aware of the problem that is going on. So what should the next generation of Berkeley students expect when they step foot on campus? The Vice Chancellor's office says that future graduates of UC Berkeley may have to pay more with tuition increasing in the next few years. Reporting for CalTV in Berkeley, I'm Shay Arthur.